these days. Now today I'm going to show you how to make my famous rainbow cake. Now I have perfected this recipe to my abilities, my exams, you know, what I think is right. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do. Let's get started. Now the first thing you need to do is turn on your oven. I've done that about 150, turn up to 175, something around that. It will work. Now I'm going to show you my ingredients, what you'll need and the equipment you'll need. Okay, so what I've got is I've got a rolling pin, a board, some scales, a bowl. I've got this, you can use like tablespoons. It's for tablespoons, so you can see it's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, things like that. One teaspoon. I've used that, you can use anything else like that. Spatula, help in the cake. Sharp knife, uh, a like tablespoon sifter. I've got a couple of knives, a variety of spoons, a couple of teaspoons. And then for the cake, the actual cake, I've got some eggs, caster sugar, plain flour, butter, baking powder, and of course, vanilla. You need vanilla in any cake, don't you? For the filling, I have got some rainbow drops and some skittles. Of course, you can use whatever you want. It's like completely up to you. But I think, as it's a rainbow cake, I need something rainbow to go inside. Put them back. Now, for the icing, I have got some fondant icing. These are like, well, they're just some fondant icing. You can use buttercream, anything like that. I'm using rainbow icing stuff. I've got this like, it's this, uh, it's like an edible pen, so you can write, you can do design, you can write on it and it will come through. You don't need that, just some extra detail. Now, when you want to colour your cake, I've got these. They're just some ordinary colours, you can use what you want. I find rainbows nice. I've also got this dribbly one, don't have that one. And then, front icing, go all the way through, got everything, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to mix the dry ingredients together. So I'm starting off measuring out my pasta sugar. I need 450 of this, there's 500 in this, so I need... You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to measure out 50 grams and then just pour the rest of it in. It works. I've got my scales here and then this bowl. That's what that's for. I need to measure out everything. Now, I measured out 50 grams there, exactly, as you can see. And I'm just going to pour the rest of the sink, because I need 450 sugar. That works. You never know, I might need that again. <gasps> Secret bowl! Awesome! Alright, I'll use this one instead. That's just amazing! How did they do that? I think it came with it. I don't know. Anyway, the next thing I need is my plain flour. Let's see what do I need of that. I need 675 plain flour. So I'll measure that out. There's one kilogram in here, so. I try and keep my kitchen a bit like Nigella's because I really love her kitchen and her style of cooking. So I try and keep it like that, but I'd just say it doesn't often happen. Sometimes, but I can't help it. I'm a messy one. Last dry ingredient to put in, that's baking powder. I don't need to weigh that out. Sometimes you need to be a strong man in baking. Wish I had someone in for that. I'll need that in a minute. This is my thingy majiggy, which is, it tells me my tablespoon, so that's one tablespoon. But, what do I need? I need three, so I need three of them. A teaspoon and a tablespoon. Teaspoons. Correct. Sorry, I meant teaspoons. 
You know how life goes. You say the wrong thing, but you mean the same thing. I can make a poem about that. Say the same, say the wrong thing, but do the same thing. Oh my gosh, I've lost it now. No idea what I'm talking about. Do you? Put the back over there, I'll probably need that later. I'm just going to give that a mix like that. Meanwhile, I'm just going to put away the ingredients I don't need. You never want to get confused, do you? Wrong switch. All fine. Now, I'm just going to check at the bottom. Sometimes with the mixes, sometimes they can mix out a bit. So, I'm just going to... what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some of the drying and um, the wet thingy ingredients together in here. I'm just going to whisk them up because I've got my eggs, got my butter and my vanilla. So that should be fine. Right, so we need 375 of butter. Now what I find is good when you make these cakes, if you melt the butter first, because you see it's a little odd you see, because you put it in here, it's cold. It doesn't mix in. What do you do now? You can't take it out and melt it then. So you could just melt it a little to make it soften. But I think I'll just melt it completely. And anyway, it's proper wet ingredients then. That's what I meant for that. Now, because I need 375, there's 250 in here. So I'm going to have this one. Now I'll just need 115 in here. And I'm clever good at my maths. You see, baking's always in good with maths. Maths, that's why I got better, because of my baking. Now, I can, I don't really need to use my scales today, because this lucky pack has got 50 or 100 or 150, so I can estimate that's 100, so 150 will be about there. So it's a quarter. If it was like 110 or something, you might want to weigh it out. But because it's a quarter of that, it's much more easy. 100 there. Alright then, what I've done now is, well, I'm melted the butter as you see, but this is really soft. There's no point putting it in any longer. It could burn the rest of it because there's so much. And anyway, it's soft enough to go in easily. I'm just gonna do my eggs now. I've been a bit naughty today. I usually um, crack them into a cup first, but today I've been quite confident, which I won't lose my poor old shells in there. Anyway, I can't see any. I'm very good at picking them out, even if I did. I've been too naughty, I know. I've got nine in it. If you, I'm doing a big rainbow cake for like celebrating stuff, that's why I'm using quite a lot of ingredients. If you were just doing it to try out for fun and stuff, you might want to do like a, a third of it or two thirds, something like that. You just need to divide it by three and then take times it. You know, if you're trying to find a fraction of an amount, you have to divide by the bottom and times by the top. I know, I know. Fractions are in my blood. Not really. Baking is though. I'm cooking. I'm going to use my special Villa Vanilla. It's from India? Mexico. Mexico. Yes, Mexico. I don't know why I thought India. It's my special one. It's from... Close friend brought it back. For me! All for me! Anyway, it tastes much better than our country. I wish we had Mexican vanilla. vanilla. You don't need to mix it up completely. It's not the end of the world if you don't, because it's going in there. It's going to be mixed again electrically. Just to sort of combine it a little. Now, now that I've combined it a little, why? 
I'm going to put it into my dry ingredients. A little bit at a time, I'm going to put in like half of it in at a time, around that anyway. Mix that in and I'll put some more in. Ooh. Keep your hand down once and then put it down properly. Came up and it went everywhere. I'm going to put another little bit of butter. Ooh, the butter! Sleeves. Mm. Mm. Good. Not done yet, but still good. Oh. 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 <laughs> now this is the stage where you decide. Is there going to be anything else needed? Have I put too much stuff in? I don't think so, I think it's fine. But if you do, that's absolutely fine. I'm just going to dry a little more. Not that much. Mm. <clears throat> it's perfect. It says 1,742. I'm going to round that up to 1,750. Here's my maths again, man. Rounding skills. Now, I need to divide that by four. Wow. Four hundred thirty-seven point five. Of course, I couldn't actually do that, so I'll just do... 437 grams each and then there'll be a little left over like 0.5 grams I'll just give one area 0.5 grams I might be here a while you know what I'll just say I'll see you in 5 minutes when the fun starts this really isn't fun only joking everything's fun in a rainbow cake even the maths part, because you're still making a rainbow cake, even though it's maths. And then you can go into, you know, school and tell your teacher, I did maths, I did some homework today, last night. Homework you didn't even set me. I made a rainbow cake, an awesome rainbow cake. And I used maths to work out how to put one in each one. And how many eggs to use. And la 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 la. And you can go in and you can tell her that. And it was so much fun. that she'll just be so proud of you. Oh, I think she will, anyway. 439, again. That's such a coincidence. Start off with blue. The gel is actually the best I find, but of course it's completely up to you what kind of food color want to use. Ah, there's a lot of green in there. Yellow. And then I just need my red. I need a superpower opener then.
they're my four mixtures. Look at how beautiful they are. Bring on the color, man. Bring on the color. Right now, I'm just going to grease these, put them in. See you in a little bit. Ready to put them in the oven. Okay, so now I'm going to check on my cake. Safety first, guys. Safety never takes a vacation. La, la, dun, dun, dun. Ooh, these are looking good. Got a knife here, poke it in, comes out clean, they're done. This one needs a little longer. Pretty sure it's completely done, but done. Longer. Those and those need to go back in. These two are done for this cake. Mmm. put a couple of skittles in for like the rainbow drops but... goody goody i'm just uh putting my buttercream on here and i'm gonna flip it over one two three ah oh, that wasn't really like a flip but Whoa! Come on, this cake is amazing! Oh, oh. Sorry, I need to hold it down for a couple of seconds. Boom! I've done it. I've finally done it. I'm the best friend cake in the world. Just joking, it's not even finished yet. Getting that excited. Right, I'm just literally just putting on a bit of buttercream. And I'm just going to cover it in fondant. Buttercream to stick, remember. I know what you're thinking. Yellow. That's not a rainbow like I promised you. Well, don't be annoyed at me. Because this is just my base one. I'm going to put strips of rainbow on top. I'm just smoothing in with some water. My fondant. You can include Charlie in something. Hey there, do you want to help me out? Yeah. Hi Bear. That man. Oh, good snack. Thanks. Mm. Charlie, I've had enough now. It's okay, you don't need to help me anymore. I'll smooth them down in a minute. You know how life goes. You really do. You like me. It's completely up to you. Whoa! Whoa! Way! I know what it's missing. I'll be back in five steps with the one thing it's missing. Oh no! Missing Let's finish this now. A couple of things it needs. Edible glitter. Come on, everything needs glitter. Shimmer spray. Make it shimmery. I'm all for daisies because I'm Daisy. Come on, you need to have a bit of personality on a plate. Boom. Start off with the wolf daisies. Might just put one on. Couple on there, looks good. Got a bit of silver spray on. spray last and not least <laughs> there we have it guys daisy's super rainbow cake now i think we need to find an expert judge someone who's wise someone who likes to eat someone who knows a bit about cooking but not as much as me and someone who say it is fab boo whatever it is
Only one person for the job. Mm -hmm. Let's cut the cake. Okay, so I got my technical judge. Busy, Lizzie. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I think it's ready to cut the cake. You get the first slice. Mmm, can't wait. Oh, I love the colours. Now. Mm. Now. Wow. Delicious. Good texture. Mm. Mm. Ooh, I, yeah, I think I'll go for some more. It's very good. Okay, so Charlie, would you like some cake? Charlie, would you like some cake? Yeah. It's yum. Come and see. Yummy, you come? yummy. Yummy, yummy. It is yummy, yummy. Which colour are you going to have, Charlie? Do you want a bit of mine? Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, you try. What do you think? Try the cake. Mm hmm. Cake. Mm. Try the cake. Oh. Oh. Uh, What's it like? Is it yummy? Yeah. Mmm. Is it yummy, yummy in your tummy? Yeah. It's just, 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 just. It's just. Okay, I hope you enjoy making your rainbow cake. Well, my rainbow cake to your rainbow cake. This is our rainbow cake in the end it is. So keep rainbowing and I'll see you next time on Daisy's Days. Bye. Bye.